Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Last time out, we had two games for you. Both of them were exceedingly good games, beating uh, Gainsborough Trinity in the FA Cup, fourth qualifying round by six goals to nil, and then beating third place Ebbs Fleet by six goals to three. Can we continue that form into this episode? And A, increase the gap at the top of the table, but B, get ourselves into the second round of the FA Cup. Let's find out. Hello and welcome to episode 18 of uh, To Be A Legend. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games uh, as promised. Uh, first up is a Vanarama National League North, a game against a Barnet and then the FA Cup first round against a, a Vanarama National League Bromley who we then play in the league. So we've got a double uh, header with that. We're not going to see both games in this episode. We're only going to see the game. Uh, that applies to us, and that is the uh, first round of the FA Cup. Since you were last with us after that 6-0 win in the FA Cup and the 6-3 win in the National League against third place Ebbsfleet, we played bottom place Wealdstone and made our work of it, as you would expect, of course. Um, and we managed to beat them by a goal to nil, a Harry Bung goal after 54 minutes. It's another one of those games that we really should have just into the ether. Um, but didn't manage it. Um, as you will see, 17 shots, only four of them on target. That was our big, again, I'm looking for half of the 17, which in my reckoning should have been eight or nine. We were below par, had a lot of the possession. Our XG was okay, but realistically, it wasn't big enough to be looking for that second goal. Uh, but um, only by courtesy of Wilson not being um, a a side that, that really had the power to uh, to get anything over us. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. Um, so our, our form is still inconsistent, to say the least. Uh, but uh, as I say, we did manage to uh, pull that off, thanks to Harry Bunn, who is having uh, an extremely good season, so to speak, at the moment. Um, so that was the game against Wilson that uh, really should have been a huge win, another sort of six goals. Should have been flying with that, um, having put 5-1 against Barrow and 6-0 against Gainsborough and a 6-3 against Ebbsfleet. Realistically should have done that, but uh, hopefully we can pick up form today. Um, home to Barnet, then that away game at Bromley. Um, nothing doing. We have asked if we can have an under-21 team yet again, basically because, um, if you look at the club vision, I have an A-plus now. Um, from the board, summarise the board. Feel you are doing an unbelievable job, and you're clearly the right manager for the job. If I'm the right manager for the job, a offer me a decent uh, pay rise um, in my contract that they've been trying to offer me, but I've not yet agreed to one and two. Yeah, two. Um, give me an under twenty one side because I want to be playing some of those players that are a bit on trial, and I want to see what they're made of. And I want to be able to uh, improve this team. So they're the two things. And uh, as I've said before, if I don't get that under 21 side by the end of the season, regardless of going up, we will seriously think about moving on. Um, because uh, next season, they want us to avoid relegation from the National League. Uh, we will be and continue to do so. So, you know, realistically, I think if we're where we are, um, we need to be in a position. I mean, they're delighted board of delight that the team is on course to win the national league well give me give me the tools to do it yes it's going to cost us a bit of money but if we get that promotion to league one a uh, league two you got your money investment back for goodness sake so we're, we're hoping that that will come to fruition in uh in due course um in fact if i go in here i think somewhere da, 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 somewhere if i can find it again um It was the update, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, where are we? Down here somewhere. Board performance review for the month. Uh, job security, untouchable. So you don't want to get rid of me. Give me the tools to do the job. 
is where I'm going with that. So we'll see if anything comes as I say. Vast for it again. We'll see if it comes to fruition. I'm not signing a contract until I get that under 21 uh, team. So it might go down to the wire at the end of the season. And if we've got promotion, I can't see him wanting to uh, get rid. Um, we'll see how that progresses uh, and whether the other job offers come in. Because if other other teams start offering me higher up the uh, up the pyramid, then you're in trouble, matey, especially if you haven't given me an under-21 team. Uh, so there we go. Right. With any more to do, let's get on with the episode and the games and the first game of the episode. It is against Barnet. I don't think we've played them yet in this uh, particular series. We haven't. Uh, Barnet, who have um, previously, if we can uh, look at their history, overview of history. Here we go. Um, been in the Vanarama National League for some time now. Got relegated back in 2017-2018. Uh, finished 13th, 7th. So our highest finish is 7th, 22nd, um, 18th last season, finishing 14th in the Vanarama National League. Uh, currently, they are 20th. So uh, this is another game that we should be winning. But as we know, is always a bit of a, a troublesome to us teams that are well below us, which seem to uh, think that they are uh, doable and then not do. This is the team that's going to face Barnet. And this is the team that will face Barnet. It's Madison in goal. This is pretty much the side that uh, beat um, Ebbsfleet in that 6-3 win. Madison in goal. Clark, Greenwich, Gamble and Senior as our defensive line. Raymond and Mundell play in midfield with Osborne, Bunn and Moss as our attacking midfield. Norcat up front. Granite, Jackson, Ayana, Spence and Hardy are all on the bench. The only thing is we don't have a specific wide player. Um, so we're hoping that it's not going to be double injuries or anything like this in this midfield. We're going to have to switch around. We do have Spence that can go in the middle. Bunk can go out left or right. Um, so we're hoping that uh, that will suffice. We've also got Raymond that we can uh, push out there. We do have um, Spence who can play in midfield, central midfield as well. So we're hoping that that will do. Joe Hardy um, also... Uh, there to uh, to support. So that is the team that faces Bar Barnet. And this is how the two sides match up. As we see, they are playing a 4-4-2. Canoe up front uh, with Sellers that seems to ring a bell. Jarrett Sellers, not sure where he rings a bell from, but uh, he is there on uh, at the attack. So we'll see. How this game goes. Our first highlight, five minutes in. They have a free kick. Hall swings it in. Mundell is there to tidy up. And we come on, on a can, uh, counter. Norkett coming in for this one. Norkett, uh, not quite sure, got in a bit of a mess there and given the ball away. And they have that's under the ropes again. Powell's into the area and he's had a shot. Sure, if that come off the post or the goalkeeper saved that canoe, but uh, we win the ball back. Come back and uh, gamble a long ball looking for Norcat. Didn't get there, but Bun has won it in midfield. Osborne here on the left, back to Bun. Bun orchestrating things. Perry Moss, he's chipped the goalkeeper and it's in. Perry Moss, his fourth goal of the season, and we go one up after. 13 minutes. Lovely orchestrated bun finding the the uh, run of Moss. I think it was a little bit of luck there. Come off the defender and deflect it. Question of offside as well. Borderline. I think we're lucky and get away with that. Clark with a throw in on this near side to Mundell. Mundell crosses it, looking for, I'm not quite sure it was Perry Moss, but uh, didn't quite get there. But Greenwich picks it up in defence. Raymond, Clark. Clark comes forward, holds the ball up, comes back. Greenwich in defence. And goes all the way back to Madison, who's out of his area. Gamble. 
gamble to senior senior finds moss moss comes inside crosses to osborne who's in space into the area norcat the eighth goal of the season two up after 20 might be 22 minutes might be 23 minutes but we've doubled our lead 10 minutes after our first goal lovely team play switch sides. moss seeing osborne in space finds norcat norcat just sides foots it into the side netting it is 22 minutes on the clock and hall with the throw in for barnet to whelan back to hall hall deep but gambles there and heads it uh, out doherty blocked by moss perry moss and what a signing he's been if he's not signing the season Back heel there, well, a lot of messing around. Senior comes forward. It's floated that one looking for Norket, but as we know, Norket's not the best in those situations. Raymond, what a, what a ball that was. Osborne pulls it down lovely and swirls away. Greenwich, Raymond. Raymond looking for Norket. Norket heads it onto Bun. Bun, put, oh, he's at the post. I was going to say puts it away, but uh, he's not. He's hit the woodwork. And as half time arrives, Nine shots, three on target, 1.58 on the XG. 53% um, of the possession there. Barnett have had four shots, just the one on target, and a 0 0.31. And that uh, one that wasn't too sure whether it, the goalkeeper had saved it or come back off the post had actually come back off the post, I think, because it's showing one off the woodwork. Good first half. Let's hope for a continuation in the second. First highlight in the second half, 46 minutes on the clock, and it's a throw in to Barnett. Doherty, no changes at half time. Nelson gets that one forward. Greenwich and Gamble getting bundled up there. Mundell to Bun. Referees in the way. Moss, Perry Moss having to go all the way back to the goalkeeper, not finding a way out of that uh, position. But uh, we build again from the back, nice and gently. Senior here comes forward. Moss is getting in his way. Uh, backtrack slightly gamble mundell mundell looking for bun bun sort of had to go out wide crosses it in and scored now that was a very acute angle and uh <laughs> bun he's on form is he on form i didn't see how many goals he scored i was too busy enjoying that i mean goalkeeper sort of and look at that he just rolled it in from that very acute angle, I thought he'd crossed it in for Norket to tuck away, but corner, Bun with the corner, swings it in, Gamble. Got his head to that, but uh, just didn't quite get enough on it. They have a corner, all with the corner. And it's a headed goal. Dominic Raven, the scorer, they get one back. above Raymond and uh, powerful header highlight from kickoff Norket to Raymond Clark 3-1 then and that one forward looking for Osborne Osborne in space bun oh what a shot 12th goal of the season which means his other one was 11th and very much uh, immediate reply after they got uh, back in the game we've put them back in their in their place three goal lead is put back in osborne lovely unselfish and perfect from bun and with 75 minutes on the clock um raymond has taken a knock apparently and uh looks like we might have to do a swap we're going to do that anyway but um yeah as you can see the front four here i mean what a front four they are moss has been turned into some something Absolutely fantastic. I mean, the three of them just play together so well in that uh, formation. Um, almost unbeatable in a way. Right, let's have a look then. Gamble's got to come off. He's uh, he's having a good game, but he's struggling. Um, and it's going to be Josh Granite that's going to come on for Gamble. Much as don't really want to take him off. We are going to do it. Jaden Raymond will come off for Greaves, I think. It's telling me to see on Spence, but it's 
Now, normally I would also take Bun off, but Bun really, he's on a hat trick, and I don't want to take him off at the minute. Greaves or Spence? Right, let's just have a look. Uh, Greaves is only a two start. Sion Spence is a two and a half star, so that's the answer to that one then. Sion Spence can come on as the deep lying playmaker, and uh, he could possibly go up and play in Bun's position. And then uh, what we do could be that we move Mundle over. No, not as it is. Right, that sorted that one out. Another corner, Hull. And he scored again. Canu this time. Idris Canu, the 4-2 uh, now. And uh, they've scored both their goals from the set piece. And twice we've not defended them well. And twice we've been caught out. And another highlight from kickoff. Are we going to get back on again? Spence to Bun. Bun forward looking for Norquette. Norquette. It, and we've got ourselves back in. That's twice now they've scored from a corner and twice we've scored from the kickoff. Greenwich to Spence. Bun this time supplying Norquette. Norquette just controlled it, brought it down on his uh, right foot and put it in the back of the net. And Doherty with a throw in. Deacon crosses deep. Canu this time heads it over the top. And while we're here, we will do a further change. Bun now is tired, even though he's on a hat trick. Um, Let's have a look and see what we need to do. One change left. And I'm thinking Harry Bunn. But the question is, do we take him off? Um, who was the deep? Greaves is the deep line playmaker. So I'm thinking possibly what we do is we put Bunn back there. And then we'll swatch Harry Bunn for Greaves. That's how we will do that. Checking that actually. Are we making Mazala on support? That's what we'll do. That's our three changes done. And we come back with a highlight straight away. Greenwich to Mundell. Senior. Are we going to add to our tally five goals again in this one? Spence. Over the top looking for Norcat. But uh, it's cut out. But only as far as Moss. Moss back into the area. But uh, Norcat not forward. I think he'd been offside had he been. Moss heads it to Bun. Bun to Spence. Spence over the top now looking for Osborne. Crosses it and it's gone out for a corner. Off the defender. Greaves on for Bun. Nothing from the corner then. And Greaves picked up a yellow card. It spends it's a wild, wild ball. And this one goes out wide to Deacon. Deacon looking for a cross into the area. He's got it. And it's gone over the top. Barnett dangerous in spells. Madison, long ball looking for Norquette, but it's not got there. Norquette, of course, also on a hat trick, I believe. Doherty. And they're having Barnett having a lot of the game at the moment. Granite cuts that one out. Mundell, Senior, Moss. Tried to get that through to Norkett, but again, wasn't. I think uh, Moss must be tired now. And uh, that one out wide to Deacon. Did he keep it in? Don't know. Moss, Senior. Senior crosses it for Osborne. Osborne's there. And Henry making the save. Norkett saying I was free, but... Uh, I think Osborne probably did the right thing. Spence with the corner then. It's a cross and out. And, uh, Greenwich. Tired legs, not getting there. Clark has come across and puts it out. Senior. We are close in injury time now. Moss looking for Norquette. Didn't find him. Doherty. They come through again. Carnot is in. And it's gone over top, but Madison. Makes the save. I think we're safe now. Um, Granite, I think, to Clark. Clark. Oh, it's a poor ball from Clark. And I 
think tired legs are really getting to us. Deacon out here on his own. Senior there, though. And what's the referee blown for? Offside. Free kick. We are pretty much into the game. Granite. Long ball launched forward. Surely this is the end of it, and it is. 5-2 win then. Perry Moss, Norquet two goals, and Harry Bunn two goals. Um, exceedingly good game again, as the as I said, the front four really doing the job. And uh, we've secured that uh, 19 shots, 7 on target, 3.10 on the XG, 55% possession against a bun. It's 12 shots, 4 on target, a 1.65. Let's have a look and see how that affects the table. Well, dare I say it, 15 games in, we are on course for promotion again, boys and girls. 7-point lead at the top of the table from Torquay United. Torquay United only managing a 2-2 draw against Gateshead. Um, how did our second opponents for today get on a Bromley beat in Dagenham and Redbridge by three goals to one? So uh, Bromley down in ninth place with 22 points at the moment. 15 points clear of them at the top of the table. And uh, we continue our unbeaten run. 15 games, I think it is unbeaten. So uh, really is uh, quite a result. 5-2 again today. And uh, if you look at the results, apart from the... Uh, Wheelston, I'm not sure the wheels fell off for the Wheelston game. Um, it wasn't too pretty, but as you see, 5 1, 6 0, 6 3, 5 2. At some going, I know we've conceded five goals, but when you think of the amount of goals that we scored, what's that? 11, um, 22, 23 goals we've put away in four games. Or if you look at it from a league point of view, that's 11, um, 16, 17 goals scored, uh, conceded three, four goals in, uh, sorry, four, five, six goals. But uh, even so, that's a really good return. And uh, the three scorers again today, Perry Moss, Norkett and Bunn. Osborne, the only one that hasn't scored out of that front uh, front lot again. But uh, see, really on scintillating form, the lot of them and uh, Manny Norkett come into his own now as well. So that's uh, the first game out of the way. Our second game is against Bromley. We have played Bromley before, played them once in the FA Trophy fifth round uh, last season, beating them 3-0 at home. We haven't played them at their place yet. So uh, that today could be an interesting uh, trip. Uh, let's see how we get on in the first round of the FA Cup. And the team that will face uh, uh, Bromley in this FA Cup first round. And it's uh, Madison continuing in goal. Clark, Gamble, Jackson and senior Jackson coming in because we've rested Greenwich. And Greenwich is going on international duty as well. So Jackson comes in in defence. Mundell and Kamwa coming in in place of Raymond in that central midfield. But our front four stay the same. Osborne out on the left. Bun in the central position. Moss out on the right, Norquet up front on the bench, Molden, Granite, Ayana, Clark, Raymond, Spence, Greaves, Girolamo and Hardy. And this is how the two sides match up for this Emirates FA Cup first round match. As you'll see, they are playing a 4-1-2-3. Um, so... Slightly different, playing with a defensive midfield. I'm not quite sure how we will uh, get on and combat, uh, combat them. But this is the first of a double header against Bromley, of course, playing them in the Vanarama National League in the next game. But uh, first of all, we want to see if we can get through to the next round of the FA Cup as we head and try and make a bit of money. Come for the first highlights. Seven minutes on the clock. Madison to Gamble to Clark. Playing in our blue top, some black shorts today. Gamble, Mundell, Mundell out to Clark. Clark finds Osborne. Osborne looking for Bun, but uh, not finding him. Schwami. And the ball long. Senior heads it on. Moss gets there, but nobody in attendance. And we've missed that ball. Moss missing it. And Whiteley's getting a lot of space here. And puts it wide, thankfully. 
Madison come down out, cutting the uh, angle out. Clark with a throw into Bun. Back to Clark. Clark pumps it forward looking for Norkett, but Norkett not getting there. Bun wins that ball, but uh, the defensive player knocking it into Clark's path. Clark knocking it to Madison, who's out of his area. Gamble. Mundell looking for a way through, looking for the run of Moss, but this time hadn't made it. Jackson brings it down. Mundell, Gamble, over the top looking for Norkett. As we know, Norkett's not particularly good in those sort of uh, balls. Mundell, this time looking for Osborne. Again, no run made. And the goalkeeper pumps a long one forward. Oh, Clark's missed it. Over the top of his head. And Evans is in space. Alexander crosses it in. And a mistake by Madison. And we go a goal behind after 12 minutes. Clark to Bain for this one. Oh, it took a deflection. Took a deflection off of the uh, off of Gamble. Goalkeeper dived the right way and probably would have saved it. It wasn't really. It was pretty innocuous, but as he dived, Gamble it deflected off a of Gamble, and they've been lucky there. And they have a corner. It's deep. It's headed wide by Robinson, the goal scorer. Half time comes. Pretty poor first half by our um, level. And uh, Manny Norquette not playing particularly well in this game. And uh, we've had three shots, none of them on target. 0.17. They've had eight shots, three on target, and one of which was a goal. But we've had the bulk of the possession. We need to uh, be bucking our ideas up in the second half. Clark. Our first highlight of this second half, 50 minutes on the clock nearly. Gamble, Mundell, looking for Osborne, didn't find him. We'll uh, keep missing out on those balls. And they're through again. Alexander is in. And if we get a second goal, they are it's two up. And that's pretty much put us to bed. 50 minutes on the clock. And they are doing this damage, which we don't seem to have a bit of an answer to. I'm not quite sure what to do here thinking that we might just change to version two of this. And we have a corner bum with the corner. Can we get back a goal? No. Alexander, he's lost the ball to Moss and the ball ricochets off of somebody and it's gone over the top. We have changed formation and we have brought on Hardy up front, taking Osborne off. Bit of a ch chance and we've not got anything from it. Nine shots, only the one on target so far, and we're still not doing the business. Right, we're going to have to do some tactical changes here. Um, Gamble is tired. Eddie Jackson not having a good time at the back there. I don't know if that's been our problem. Possibly. Um, do we make a couple more changes? Norkett still not doing it up front for us. Do we bring Girolamo on? Oh, it's a toughie. One that I can't make either. I'm not sure whether to take nor get off. Do I bring Girolamo on? Uh, bring Girolamo on as a, an advance forward. Just see if we can do it. I think we get five changes. I'm not sure. We do. So we can make a couple more changes. Moss is tired out on the right there. Do we bring Jaden Raymond on? <sighs> Mundell is tired. I'm thinking we perhaps bring Jaden Raymond on for him.
and then three moss isn't having a great go game out there switch him to an inverted winger on attack let's just see what uh what happens with this we've got one more change we can bring on two more players if we need to and with 85 minutes still nothing happening oh it's very frustrating we're gonna lose this game gamble is tired oh gamble is tired so we're gonna have to bring granite on for him and then joel senior is also very tired and it's going to be james clark although i want to bring ayana on jordan ayana it's telling me james clark but let's bring james clark on our final bite of the cherry as it were and it's all over it's a 2-0 loss we are out of the fa cup and uh never really got into the game did we and you'll see mm, uh, the uh should have brought manny norquette off before then i think something like that i don't know uh, all in all poor poor game uh 12 shots four on target 1.19 for them 43 percent of the possession we had the bulk of the possession just didn't really hit the target 10 shots one on target 0.47 bad day at the office i think well we've met expectations of the uh of the board that's the very least we've passed that to reach the fa cup problem which we have done knocked out in the first round bit disappointing really didn't give uh bromley a game and uh, we should have done um so very very disappointing from that point of view right uh we're gonna play bromley again and grimsby offline we're gonna come back for eastley who are currently lying in seventh place and Gateshead who are currently lying in 12th place previously uh, having played Gateshead so we lost 5-0 in the FA Trophy quarter final last season so they're a team that we want to get revenge on um, and uh, obviously in those two games Bromley and Grimsby Town we need to keep up our good form Grimsby having lost to Bromley um, could it be our first defeat in the National League hopefully not um, didn't want to do that Mark try that because as it currently stands in the national league as you see that's seven points at the top um so and we haven't lost yet this season so want to keep that going if we can so uh, we've got to do better against bromley in the second game of the two so let's hope we can do that well, i hope you've enjoyed today's episode if you have don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification button that keeps you up to date uh, with uh, all future episodes of uh, To Be A Legend new series as they are and any new series as they are released. If you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel and more, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. And new episodes of To Be A Legend normally released every Monday and Thursday, but as we're in the uh, uh, Christmas New Year um, part of the uh, series, uh, of course, uh, with this one going out uh, pre-New Year, uh, we will come back uh, next Monday, being a bank holiday. I'm not going to put anything out on Monday. We will be back on Tuesday for episode 19, and then we're back to normal thereafter. I know I did say previously we probably put episodes out on Monday, but uh, as uh, Christmas and New Year took it took hold, we didn't really get the episodes uh, recorded that we wanted to. Apologies. So we will be back on Tuesday for episode 19. Uh, those games against Eastleigh, and Gateshead in the Van Rama National League. Hopefully we've beaten Bromley in the second of the two matches by then. Fingers crossed. Till next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>